Hi, Tiwa. Hi. Uh, let me just say from here. Okay, so um, Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about how the Yates of Hara attacks you when it tries to get you to stumble in Gaiva. So the first strategy of the Yates of Hara, he, it makes your heart, heart hard, and lifts you up in your own eyes. It makes sweet for you the pride, the concept of pride, of shine uh, with and other negative traits. The person certainly knows that there is uh, um, there is a crime and a sin. But God also, I feel lucky. Over every amazing is going. Nevertheless, the person deliberately violates this uh, this um, this uh, prohibition. Um, he's got and he comes proud. Kiyets might be a slipo achar kavu. The person, the person, the Yitzhar is such. That it can, and Gaiva is such an a, a, attractive, uh, bad trait that a person is going to be de deliberately, knowingly, willingly given to Gaiva. And my kiyetsu mavisubacharakaba pursuing honor, to the point that a person will not be even concerned. You won't even think that's an Avera. But a person who is who's pure in his deeds, Velo Yiskai, who doesn't get proud, Velo Yalelatsmo. And he doesn't praise himself. Let's say you're not a person like that. In other words, you realize Gaiva is a bad thing. It's not good to be proud. And I'm going to distance myself from Gaiva. I'm going to be humble. I'm going to pr practice modesty, all those good traits, right? I'm not going to praise myself because uh, uh, I know it's a bad thing. So, what does Yitzhak do with this, such a person, right? Yitzhak doesn't give up. Yitzhak is very, very persistent. As the avoy Yetzer will be arochim o milchama, that Yetzer will come and wage another war with him. La pilo l'achto b'nishto to pull him down, to topple him and catch him in his net. V'yore heter. And it's going to tell him how it's mutter to be a bal gaiva. So again, the Yetzer first tries again to be a bal gaiva deliberately, knowing it's an abeira. Then so the Yetzer sees, okay, you know, she, she's not going to give in because she knows that gaiva is a bad thing. So now Yetzirah is convinced you that Gaiva is a good thing. So how does it do that? So Yetzirah shows you Svaros sheish lo mitzvah uschar al mash mishal mispar. It's going to give you logic and uh, demonstrate to you that you're going to get rewarded if you go and praise yourself and hold yourself in a high esteem towards other people. In other words, not you esteem them, but you expect them to esteem you. Uh, is there like your Marlowe Yates? It says to you, Fari you reach a high level of wisdom and of piety. They're very, very a big tzaddikas. The royal holy sos, it's appropriate for you to um try and find uh, and uh be, be liked and to find favor in the eyes of the world. And even to flatter them inappropriately, in other words, to, uh, to have a, a relationship with them in which uh, you give them honor in order to get back honor. 
I want to reveal my 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 wisdom and my tzidkas so people should love me. We have a and the are bringing a proof from Turkey of us. Anybody who the spirit of the people is uh, uh, is happy with him, Hashem is happy with with him. So therefore, it's if I want Hashem to be happy with me, I should make other people happy with me. How do I make other people happy with me? By being respected and honored in their eyes. So uh, so this Yetzirah is even using psukim and mishnayos in this case actually to prove to you that. Gaiva uh, is a good thing. Avi is a Kamashem Akasu, but this is why I have to tell the Yetzara. Virtos Hashem Dake Ish Kamay Babish Nimi Tov. Fine if you make, or get fine favor in God's eyes, in other people's eyes, then you find favor in God's eyes. It's the opposite. You find favor in God's eyes, then other people will like you too. So you have to start from God, not from the other people. So, Kapirish um, Inyan, this is what it means. Ima Adam Lays of Nimi Adam. person doesn't. Uh, praise himself for other people. He doesn't try to find favor in their eyes. Masosa, masosa, to him when he does his good deeds. And nevertheless, all of him also, because even though he runs away from uh, uh, the cover, people love him. And that perhaps is the reason why they love him, because he runs away from cover. That's major proof that Hashem loves him. Uh, and he planted and scattered. The love of this person in the hearts knows Hashem scattered. The love of this person in the hearts of other people. And he gave this person's good name uh, to the other people that they should realize and discuss this person's good name precisely because he's not trying to find favor in their eyes. The truth is that there are several people who are loved by you, other human beings, like Kosh Baruch Sonam, and Hashem hates them because they don't fulfill the mitzvahs. Because they don't fulfill the mitzvahs, can Kosh Baruch Hu have a little lonely Torah mechayim also? Hashem only loves people who learn Torah and and fulfill it. Vacharkach, and then the the Yetzirah has another tool. Hara is tishcha Yetzirah the los chidus secha masecha to nifnei am. Yetzirah is going to say, listen, you got to reveal to the other people. How how much how much of a chas, how how much chasidus you have? In other words, how how much you're connected to Hashem and how much you dam with kavana and all that good stuff, and, and your good deeds. Well, maybe Ryan he brings another evidence why you should do this. You can be a great role model. If I show everybody how great I am, I'm going to be a great role model. It's l'shem shemayim. It's not because I'm proud of myself. It's not because I'm arrogant. Because I want other people to emulate me. This also comes from a, a, an arrogant spirit. Even though I found several who, who, who praise themselves, only in front of their close students and associates. So that those people who are close to them Will be will, will will be drawn after them and hold on to their hold, and hold on to their deeds. So these similar things. But that's that is true. The Yitzchak would not be wrong if he limited himself to telling you be a, a role model to those who surround you, the people on which you have an influence. But I feel if they elu, but even in front of these people, lo yiskabli bo. He shouldn't be arrogant in his heart. Bromley said, Ze ani odea, o ze ani ose. right? This is a, 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 this I know, a, this I, or this I do. So in front of your students also, you should not, even though you have to show them what to do, you shouldn't say, look at me, I'm great. This is what I do, this is what I do. But certainly before the rest of the world, whom you have no direct connection, you're not allowed to reveal to them how, how what you are, um, what uh, what you have accomplished, because it's not going to be a benefit. Okay, so if you're doing it for because you truly believe it's going to be a benefit, and that's to your close students and acquaintances and associates who know you well, okay, then as uh, says, that's legitimate. Okay, but if you um, 
But if you um, uh, do it in, uh, to people who are not in your sphere of influence, right? They're people who just, you come across or people who uh, 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 come across you. You don't actually, that's, that's considered to be valuable. Now, uh, um, I don't know. Let's say you are a modest and humble. And, but you, uh, you, you, you dive in at great length, and you learn regular times. Yeah, but you, you're, uh, you're intellectually uh, elevating yourself. The Yetzirah will uh, seduce you to be proud. Now, uh, 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 people will see you. They're going to hold you important. And they're going to honor you because you're good ways. The Yetzirah says it's a great advantage in this. We told Shatoch HaShub in him, since you are significant in their eyes, if you give them musr and you rebuke them, they'll accept it. So again, this is the uh, uh, this is a big problem, you know, uh, 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 and people sense this. I think uh, the sense this is the problem. If I dive in a long monastery, right, and everybody sees I dive in a long monastery, now I, I should be dive in a long monastery because I want to have kind of a lot of kavana. But unfortunately, there's also very often an ulterior motive, which is I want to have a long shmoneshi, so everybody can see I have a long shmoneshi. If I learn a lot, it could be I learn a lot because I want to learn. It also could be I learn a lot because I want everybody else to see how much I learn. So in this case, the, a lot of the positive aspect of the good deed is taken away by the negative aspect of you being conscious of the honor you receive as a result of doing these good things. That's, and the Yetzirah tells you, it's good for you to do that. The Yetzirah tells you, rationalize it for you. It says, if you want to be able to tell people what to do, you have to, they have to know how holy you are. Make sure they know you dive in long transfers and, you, and you learn a lot. Otherwise, they're not going to accept what you have to say. So Orchid Sadiqim says, call the heaven. This is all emptiness, nothing. If you do a good deed just for the sake of Hashem, then words of your if you have to rebuke other people and tell them what to do, they'll accept it even if you don't think they will. Because that which causes other people to accept your uh, rebuke is not dependent on what you are thinking or what you are doing. Depends on Hashem helping you out to be effective in a positive way. So an interesting study in the Wall Street Journal uh, yesterday, it said that most people are overconfident about their abilities and underconfident in the way, in their capacity to have influence on others. In other words, most people think about themselves as being above average, drivers, thinkers, Whatever it is, and the, the person wrote the article pointed out that's a st- mathematical impossibility. You can't have most people being above average. Then the average would not be average, right? So it has to be it's obviously that people who are average, man, most people, otherwise, there'd be no average. But that's not the point. The point is that most people are overconfident in their own abilities, most people are underconfident in their capacity to make a good impression on others. And uh, they, uh, the Wall Street Journal said, this article, that's why they discovered people shout in arguments. Not because they're overconfident of their position, but because they're underconfident. And they figure they're not going to be heard. So since they figure they're not going to be heard because they don't think they can persuade other people. So therefore, they get, uh, they get uh, emotional about it. They start shouting because maybe the shouting will actually make, it be, make you uh, uh, have the influence. In fact, it's the opposite. People are much more influenced by people who speak softly and don't get upset and annoyed. There may be people who get upset and annoyed. So what, what the Orchid Singh was saying is a very interesting, similar idea, which is that you think that you need to convince other people of your perspective, and you feel that you're in, in, inadequate to the task. So therefore, what do you do? You say, okay, 
let me download some of essays. Let me uh, learn a lot of Torah and let me publicize that. And that way I'm going to be able to, to, to uh, influence other people. So Rahazim says, so it's not how you influence other people. Where you influence other people has to do not with your thoughts, but with Hashem's thoughts. So it's your, you should look at it, and that's what you look at yourself as Hashem's tool, right? You, you, you're in the hands of Hashem, and whatever you say, whether it's accepted or not accepted, you did what you did because it's Hashem's will, and you did according to Hashem's will, and that's then show off or try and demonstrate how holy you are in order to make it go better. That's like shouting. It really makes it go worse. Okay? What makes it go worse is the will to tell, help others to change your mind. Give them rebuke for the sake of heaven. Okay? Uchashat Yisraeli calls that. Okay, so you managed to overcome all those Yetzirah. Do you think the Yetzirah gives up on you? No, he's still out after you. Uh, uh, will seduce you and say, It's not possible that your avodah will be complete until you distance yourself completely from other people. Cover up your good deeds. And to show the opposite of what you thought earlier. You want to learn any wisdom? Go, go isolate yourself. So nobody besides God knows about this. Don't show any good traits. Pretend that you're lazy in your avodah Hashem. You shouldn't get a name. The tav sits and lose your reward because people are going to say how oh, holy you are. Never cover anything holy about yourself. Don't tell people to do good things. Don't warn people not to do bad things. Don't let anybody know how smart you are. And don't show any sign that you fear God. Nor any type of any type of display. Don't feeling a mezuzah tzitzis like feeling. Take don't like feeling mezuzah. Don't put mezuzah on your house. Tzitzis don't wear tzitzis. Go like regular people go, but to live with their chem and go with their pathways. The TMI roof, we are with them in everything. The macho, the mishta, and eating and drinking, the chedva, and what makes you happy, of rub smoke and in laughter. Call them in Yoni Hayat, sir, look over there, Adam. This too, it's the app, the eight sort tells you, Gaiva is so bad, I have to distance myself completely from it and pretend that I'm a nobody. I pretend that I'm nothing, right? Because otherwise, I might become Baal Gaiva. So that's bad also. This is uh, somebody who does uh, this for the purpose of, of, of a mitzvah. In other words, he thinks that Hashem wants him to do this. Masid Elef Alafin Osem loses tens and tens of thousands more than he gets, than he makes. The Dama of Borech me Eish it's like somebody runs from a small fire to a big fire. Because you know what the danger is? The danger is that you're going to be so afraid of Gaiva that you end up going and not doing what you should be doing. Right? You distance yourself and say, I don't want anybody to look, look, to look up at me. I don't want anybody to, to think I'm holy. So I'm not going to act holy. And then, then I'm going to become not holy. Because the Eight Torah has me on the slippery slope downwards. So what's proper? We spell up a kavan varichus. You should dive in along a good shmoneser. We should tell a tov and tell people how to be good. You just hear me are and warn people not to be bad. The I said call the boss because of us and do good stuff when it's in public or in private. We have do also we shabchu if they pray if they praise you I uh, give you honor praise you. A mazik lo b'shavach. It's not doesn't damage you with praise. Achrei shuloki ve'ez b'shas amaseh. Because when you did what you did, it wasn't to get the cover. If you get covered in the end, but that wasn't your intent, that's okay. That can be a positive because then people are going to emulate you. But that shouldn't be the reason why you do what you do. You do what you do because it's the right thing to do. Uh, the It's fine. When you do a good deed, Look, analyze yourself. Who do you expect to reward you? 
Hashem me'achel, if it's you expect God to reward you, who's Sholem, that's great. As in Avon me'achem, but you expect other people to reward you, ain't no Sholem, that's not great, not complete. Gam Tavchir, also pay attention, in Ma'azem, Ha'asar Shet Ha'asar Yifnei Olam, if this deed which you did in front of the world, in the use of self, be'yichud, v'chadri chadorim, if you would do this thing when nobody's watching, in the innermost room of your house, b'zayin ha'asher ha'to se'ab barabim, in this matter, which you're doing in public, uh, you have to be honest with yourself. Am I just doing this because people are watching me? I do this because it's something I want to do. I would do it even if I was alone in my room. It's Baruch said, if you can clarify that you would have done it, no matter what, then your deeds are complete and then, then they are good. Um, I guess it's very wily. Anything we said against the Yitzhar, you know, you can keep on me, I am. It's a drop out of the sea. Like Mashu Chayv Lizarbo, relatives, when you have to be careful. Keep a hold of the bar, not just by God, but any deed, anything, any matter, any deed, and any uh, trait, by Yitzhar Shachez Lukaka. The Yitzhar is constantly working on you to corrupt you and destroy you. We just opened a little psychological door here. Well, the only answer to let the, to, to let people know about the answer, we should lay that pchilas to somebody who doesn't know how the answer begins operating on you. A chab yavin, a wise person understand. You mahel asal keho asal keh mitachov, and it will be quickly removed from its from a man from himself. We tahar yadaim yosif omet. So somebody who has clean hands, meaning he knows he's doing things for the right reasons, he has more strength and more courage, and can accomplish more. Okay, I have to run off to Mincha, so I have, we'll have to stop here before we get to uh, the pr- pr- good pride. But meantime, I think we learned a lot of good stuff about the HR's tactics and how to avoid them. Okay, thank you. Um, I have one question. Uh, yeah. Would you rather email it or? No, well, ask me. I'll tell you about that. Okay. Um, like, why specifically um, is the HR wanting us to be? Like how like God and stuff like why that um aver? Yeah, to like be like God? No, no. To have a lot of gaiva. Like why that? Oh, um, because a person does say, a person who a person who put who puts his own agenda and says I'm doing things for myself as opposed to for others. That's the worst part. That's the exact opposite of what Hashem wants. Hashem wants people to do things for others. Like the Talmud says, "Kemati olam chesed ibane." And doing things for to benefit others and to uh, to help others and to provide a schus for other people. And Abal Gaiva does everything he does only for himself. Mm-hmm. Because I want to look good, I want to feel good, I want to feel actually superior. I want to be superior. So a Kurdish Baruch uses his great talents, so to speak, and skills for other for people, for the creation. And that's what we're supposed to do. And he then focuses on himself. So, so too, we're not ever supposed to focus on ourselves. And we do, that's the exact opposite of how we emulate our Kodesh Baruch. That's why Gaiva is the most powerful and most dangerous Yetzirah. Does that help? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, are you still available next Sunday? Um, yeah, should oh. be. All right, very good. Okay, have a good week. You too, thank you. Bye-bye.